step into the cinematic world of The Great Gatsby, a 1974 film adaptation that brings F. Scott Fitzgerald's iconic novel to life on the big screen. Starring classic Hollywood actors, the movie navigates the opulent and tumultuous lives of characters enmeshed in the lavish excesses of the jazz age. The film invites you to ponder lesser-known facts or anecdotes that might intrigue you, prompting questions about the untold stories behind the scenes. Did a particular classic Hollywood actor steal the spotlight for you? Share your favorite and let us know why their performance left a lasting impression. As you reminisce about The Great Gatsby, we're eager to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic journey. Drop your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your insights add another layer to the rich tapestry of this timeless adaptation. So, who's your standout classic Hollywood actor and what hidden gems about the film fascinate you? Share your thoughts with us and let's unravel the layers of The Great Gatsby together. Your stories await in the comments below. Karen Black received the Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress, but her performance in the 1974 film The Great Gatsby did not earn her an Oscar nomination. Meanwhile, Mia Farrow, pregnant during filming, faced a directorial choice of close-up shots and flowing costumes to accommodate her condition. In a peculiar move, Paramount Pictures suppressed nitrate prints of earlier Gatsby adaptations, leading to the loss of both the 1926 and 1949 versions. The 1949 print resurfaced in 2012, but the 1926 rendition remains lost. These behind-the-scenes details add layers to the production of the film, showcasing both accolades and the industry's impact on cinematic history. Francis Ford Coppola, residing in what was once F. Scott Fitzgerald's West Egg, crafted the screenplay for this adaptation set in the lavish world of The Great Gatsby. Patsy Kensett, portraying Mia Farrow's daughter, later embodied Farrow in a 1995 production, delving into the filming of this very movie. Interestingly, Natalie Wood declined the role of Daisy Buchanan, refusing a screen test. These facets offer a glimpse into the intriguing behind-the-scenes dynamics of the 1974 film, shedding light on the choices made and the roles declined, shaping its unique narrative. The film's production, embedded in the iconic West Egg, reflects the synergy between the screenplay and the historical backdrop, while Kensett's dual portrayal adds an extra layer of connection to the film's legacy. Meanwhile, Wood's refusal highlights the delicate casting decisions that influenced cinematic history. The 1974 film adaptation of F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic, set in the opulent world of The Great Gatsby, holds noteworthy behind-the-scenes details. When it premiered in Los Angeles, it secured an exclusive engagement across all three screens at the former General Cinema Avco Center Cinema. This strategic move underlines the anticipation and significance attached to the film's opening. The casting process for Daisy Buchanan saw Mia Farrow triumph over finalists Faye Dunaway, Candace Bergen, Katherine Ross, and Lois Chiles. Notably, Chiles took on the role of Jordan Baker. The careful selection of the cast brings to light the competitive nature of casting decisions and the subsequent impact on character dynamics within the film. Adding depth to the characters, novelist F. Scott Fitzgerald drew inspiration from real-life figures for Daisy Buchanan, Tom Buchanan, and Jordan Baker. Daisy, modeled after Fitzgerald's first love, Ginevra King, a wealthy Chicago socialite, adds a layer of personal connection to the narrative. The parallels between the characters and their real-life counterparts contribute to the authenticity of the storytelling. In summary, the 1974 adaptation of The Great Gatsby, marked by its exclusive premiere and meticulous casting choices, delves into the intricacies of Fitzgerald's characters, providing a unique lens into the jazz age. Francis Ford Coppola, known for his directorial prowess, took on the task of crafting the screenplay for our adaptation. An interesting behind-the-scenes moment unfolded when, after viewing a rough cut, Coppola voiced his frustration about swans floating over characters' faces near a lake something he had not scripted. Mia Farrow, portraying Daisy, faced challenges in chemistry with Robert Redford, attributing it to his preoccupation with the Watergate scandal. 
Pharaoh claimed Redford immersed himself in the unfolding political drama, locking himself in his trailer to stay updated. This dynamic sheds light on the external factors influencing on-screen performances during the film's production. Remarkably, Robert Town declined the opportunity to write the screenplay, opting for Chinatown instead, fearing he might tarnish a literary classic. This decision, though unconventional, led to Town's Academy Award, solidifying his status as a screenwriting luminary of that era. These intricacies behind the 1974 adaptation offer a glimpse into the challenges faced by the cast and crew from unexpected directorial critiques to external distractions affecting performances. Each decision, whether scripted or unscripted, contributed to the unique narrative woven into the film's fabric. Marlon Brando's salary demands led to his rejection for the role of Jay Gatsby in the 1974 film adaptation. Interestingly, Truman Capote initially penned a draft with Nick Carraway, openly homosexual, and Jordan Baker depicted as a vindictive lesbian. Capote's departure led to Francis Ford Coppola taking charge, crafting a new screenplay in just three weeks. The film also features a subtle family connection, as Sam Waterston's mother made a cameo appearance in one of the party scenes. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a glimpse into the casting challenges and script evolution shaping the unique narrative of the iconic film. Tom Buchanan, sporting the number two on his polo uniform, a nod to his skilled position on a four-man polo team, adds a subtle layer to the 1974 adaptation of The Great Gatsby. Meanwhile, Warren Beatty's consideration for the role of Gatsby, with an inclination to direct, led to a unique proposal by suggesting the producer, Robert Evans, take on the lead. Jack Nicholson's skepticism about Ollie McGraw as Daisy and the rejection of Steve McQueen for the role further illustrate the casting intricacies faced during the film's production. Intriguingly, male extras in the party scenes were drawn from the Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island. The choice was strategic, aligning with military officers' clean-cut hairstyles of the 1920s, adding an authentic touch to the vibrant party scenes. As the curtains draw on our cinematic journey, take a moment to delve into the ethereal essence of a particular film. Think back to the lush landscapes of the silver screen, where characters breathe life into an era of opulence and elusive desires. Perhaps within the folds of this tale, you discovered a reflection of your own aspirations or the intricacies of human nature. The Great Gatsby captivates not just as a story, but as a reverberating resonance with our own yearnings and tribulations. Its pages or frames might have echoed with the silhouette of your dreams, the faint whispers of love's allure, or the relentless pursuit of a shimmering mirage on the horizon. What lingers in your mind's eye after the curtains fall? Share those whispered echoes, those cinematic fragments that etch themselves upon your soul. Your insights, reflections, and cherished moments within this tapestry of splendor paint a collective portrait of our shared connection with this timeless tale. Thank you for indulging in this journey down memory lane and for generously sharing your thoughts. Your unique perspective enriches the tapestry of experiences surrounding this evocative masterpiece. Until our paths cross again amidst the silver hues of another cinematic odyssey, be well and keep the memories alive.